Hey all, hope you are good. Welcome to my channel Sri World of Coding. In today's video, I am going to show another uh, real world example uh, by using metadata activity and for each activity in Azure Data Factory. So let's begin. So I have a problem statement in which I have to copy uh, all my source file from this folder into another folder uh, using metadata and for each. So let's begin. Click, uh, click on new pipeline. But before that, I've already set up a link service to Azure Blob Storage in my previous video. Okay, where we need to we just give the storage uh, account name so and your subscription. Okay. Now let's go back to your pipeline and search for metadata activity. Get metadata. Okay, so it's asked for data set. So let's create a data set pointing to Azure Blob Storage. We have all our files in CSV format. We will use the same link service that we have created. So my all my files are inside input for, uh, input container inside source folder. Click on. Okay. Uh, okay, we don't want to import schema. Okay, click on OK. Now, okay, uh, now uh, click on field list option. Okay, here you can see there are various items child item exist, item name, item type, last modifiers. So, click on child items and let's run our pipeline to check what the child items will return. So it's being running. Uh, it's running only. Mm, I don't know why it's taking too much of time. Okay, input source. Okay, the options are correct only. Okay, let's click on refresh. And it succeeded. Okay. Just click on output, and here you can see. Let's click on copy to clipboard. Open notepad and let's copy and paste. As you can see, it returned the name of my file and its type. Name of my file and its type. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to iterate to my child items, and it's return, uh, it basically returns an array. So, I'm going to iterate inside an array and copy these files from source folder to my archive folder. So for that, I'm going to use for each activity. Okay, and let's join it. Okay. So let's click on uh, click here and click on add dynamic content. So I basically want my child uh, items variable so that uh, our for each activity can iterate on top of it so it's here click on okay okay now let's go inside activity i'm going to use copy activity okay here it's asked for source data set and sync data set so let's create first for source And then we will create for uh, output. So my all my files are inside input container, inside source folder. Click on OK. OK. Import. I don't want to import any schema. And click on OK. OK. Let's 
click on parameters and just write file uh, name okay and let's type will be string only let's go back here inside source and click on delimited text to okay so as you can see uh, our file name parameter is already present here click on add dynamic content and I want now output of for each dot uh, dot and then inside this each iteration I want only the name N A M E and click on OK so uh, we have dynamically provided the file name uh, parameter a value now let's go to sync and create an output dataset click on new dataset search for blog click on continue continue uh, okay here we want <coughs> it might takes it takes time to load Okay, I will manually type it. Input. I want inside my archive container, uh, archive folder. Okay, for output we don't need to uh, need any schema and click on OK. Let's create a parameter file name again. Okay, because we don't want to type uh, give hard coded values. Okay, and we can't also because there are many file names. Let's select delimited three here also. File name parameter will be there, so I will take it from for each iterator and give it dot name. Okay, so our parameter, uh, our pipeline is ready. Let's go back and try to run it. Uh, okay, seems some issue. Let's go here, go to source. Okay. Uh, okay, let's validate it. Clear it is a is a folder. The wildcard file name is required for delimited text tool. Let's check here what's the issue. Okay, okay, okay. We haven't provided a file name here same for delimited three also we have created a vari variable but haven't provided here so now let's go to back to pipeline and click on debug so basically the parameter that we've created in our data sets needs also be present inside file path so input source and then file name similarly input archive and then file name so our pipeline is being run Let's go back to uh, our storage exp uh, uh, storage explorer and let's go inside input container. So as you can see, our pipe folder is being created, and these are files has been copied here. And you can see it's time. It's nine one p.m. And here also you can see it's a success. So. Uh, so you have seen how we can dynamically copy the files from one folder to another using get metadata and for each activity in Azure Data Factory. So hope you enjoy the video. Kindly like and subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day.